So earlier this week, a user by the name of Needles decided to make an entire exposed document about Silver Team. Suffice to say that everything in the document turned out to be complete and utter horseshit. Needles was claiming that everybody in the group supported pedophilia, that everybody in the group was homophobic, that everyone in the group was racist, or whatever kind of phobe you want to say. She gave no actual proof whatsoever. She claimed that Everybody in the server supported pedophilia, because Zell has a crush on Tails. And no, I have not seen a single sexualized picture of Tails as a kid in Zell's timeline, or likes for that matter. So, that's even more false. So after Dylan Thomas made his video, detailing the entire document, well, the document got some more flack. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it in the description below. But suffice to say, Dylan pointed out every single thing wrong with the document. The document uses faulty evidence, or things that have absolutely nothing to do with Silver Team, and it even uses things that have already been resolved. As in, drama that ended years ago. Or things that people knew about and didn't care about because at the end of the day, it was something that was very easy to take out of context, such as Zell's crush on Tails. Zell had even tried to get a hold of Needles, but what does she do? She blocks him, doesn't even let him explain. And then other people start calling up saying, Hey, this is bullshit. I didn't do that, and I didn't do this. I regret this, I did regret that. And she blocks them. Oh, that's not even the worst part. That is not even the worst part. Because she made a bunch of bold claims that she couldn't even prove... She drove two people to almost commit suicide. I wish I was kidding. And two of those people were my own friends. Proman and Spellblade Vortex actually threatened to kill themselves because of this. And then she acts like she's the harbinger of righteousness, saying, There are other groups you can go to. Well, those are their friends. You attacked their friends, and you claim that they were supporting pedophilia with no evidence to back it up whatsoever. Imagine if someone actually read this document and believed everything in it. What if that person happened to be their employers? Because claims like that can get someone fired. We just recently had someone commit suicide because they lost their job after Zoe Quinn was spouting a bunch of nonsense. She lied about this person assaulting her, he got fired, and then he committed suicide. And it's the same thing for Spell and Pearl Man. They have jobs. They have to keep food on the table. If they lose their jobs, they will be homeless. Thanks to your document, they got harassed. And once you start getting flack for this, Needles, you immediately started backtracking. You locked down your account and tried to act like you did nothing wrong. You acted like you did absolutely nothing wrong, even though you almost ruined these people's lives. You almost put them out on the street. You could have killed these people. You went after the entire group because of something that Zell did, because of something that Wingsy did, even though most of them don't support it or had nothing to do with what they did. You went after the group because it has a bad reputation, because it was an easy target, because you thought, oh, everyone hates this group, so if I call them out, I can become popular again. Everyone, look at me! I'm a righteous person! And then once you realize you could have blood on your hands, you immediately start deleting the post. You try to erase anything having to do with that document. Well, guess what? It's too late for that now. There's already a video on it, and I've downloaded the document. The original one that you put up the day it came out. So do not even try. Do not even try to claim that you did not say that everybody in Silver Team supported pedophilia. Do not try to claim that you're somehow morally right, or that you... The only thing you wanted was attention. You weren't doing it for any moral reason. You were doing it for attention. You're very damn lucky Pearl Man was willing to forgive you for all this shit. If this was anybody else, and I mean anybody else, they would sue your sorry ass for everything that you're worth. You're pretty fucking lucky, Needles. You're pretty fucking lucky no one died because of your stupid document. You can't just throw around the word trigger warning because you think everyone is so fucking sensitive and then nearly drive someone to suicide due to a bunch of false accusations. 
That is complete and utter bullshit. And you can act like, oh, I'm done with this, I've moved on. Well, too bad, because the day you locked down your account, you edited the document and added some more evidence. Well, if you're done, why are you editing the document again? Not only that, but it's going to be pretty hard for people to actually see the evidence you've just brought forward. Worse yet, you got evidence from somebody who defended this little piece of shit. Zealous Fox, please keep watching Tales Porn on Twitter and leave the others, thanks. You might have another heart attack. So she added evidence from somebody who wanted Zealous Fox to have a heart attack. That's fucked. And if you want to talk about racism, well, there's a little piece of history from you you might have wanted to delete. Now, I'm not entirely aware of the context of this comment, but let's read it, shall we? You are a major insult to the black community. Now, I've seen a lot of dumb shit in my time, and I've seen a lot of dumb communities. One of those was the neo-Nazis. Yes, they are actually just as bad as how they are portrayed. They're terrible people. So, whenever you see somebody talking out against them, one of the things they will say is, you're a race traitor, which is a phrase that they use to basically try and strong-arm people into thinking that, oh, this person hates white people, and he's racist against white people, and he supports white genocide, even though, no, they don't. They just don't like you people. And the, the context with needles is that it's being used in a similar manner from what I can tell. That's just a very weird coincidence. I think out of all the posts, this is the one that makes me the most mad. The fact that anybody, and I mean anybody thinks I can get away with crap like this, try to apologize, try to act all innocent, and then continue trying to poke the hornet's nest after they almost killed two people is amazing. It's amazing that somebody can actually be this malicious. It's amazing that someone can actually be this desperate for attention that they will ruin someone's life. That is impressive. And even Cisco, who has been on terrible terms with Silver Team, stepped in to defend these guys. Even Cisco. It's just another case of call-out culture backfiring. It's another case of call-out culture being utterly destructive in every sense of the word. Thank God this has ended because this bullshit needs to stop.